just you today you guys um this grocery haul is very sporadic because as just like the last time i already have plenty of meats in my freezer because my ass still been eating out still been eating out still been eating out so my grocery haul is just like a whole bunch of random stuff that i ran out or felt like i wanted to try or vegetables so before y'all like girl i went to trader joe's and got most of this stuff but y'all i really was lacking on the seasonings and the condiments. So I had to go to Kroger because Trader Joe's seasonings, I'm not a huge fan of. I like some of their seasonings, but a lot of them just ain't enough seasoning for me and my skin tone. I had to go to Kroger. So this is gonna be like a mix of Trader Joe's and a little bit of Kroger. And y'all, something different that we ain't never done before. I have a huge bag and it's not even that huge, but it's $70 worth of stuff from GNC in this bag that I decided I'm going to go ahead and haul. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to add it to my grocery haul and you guys said yes. Yes, we want you to tell us what you got from GNC. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, here are two of them below. I have my Thick Fit Brit page and the Brit and Snow Effect, which is just me being cute. But Thick Fit Brit is me actually being a beast. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all. All right, look. We got to get it in because we got a lot of stuff to cover. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with Kroger first because it's really not a lot. And, like I said, this is just like the most random grocery haul that probably ever exists on my channel. But then it's me. So, probably not because I'm just all over the place in general. Welcome if you're new. Hey, what's up? Anyway. So, boom, look, first thing y'all, this Cheesecake Factory bread from Kroger, y'all, I am super duper excited to try. Y'all know that they give y'all that bread in the basket and it's like some white pieces and some brown pieces. So look, they had the bread, they had the brown like baguettes, it's like the long loaf, but then they also have like the wheat sandwich loaf. And I hope that this tastes just like it does, like in the, the baguette style, like that bread is bomb. I didn't even check the nutrients on this before I bought it, but cause I wanted it. But now let me check, let's see what we got. It's really not that bad. It's uh, 80 calories per slice, three grams of protein. So, you know, I've seen worse like the bread. I really like the Hawaiian. Um, the Hawaiian bread is way more calories. Also sourdough bread, which is another favorite of mine is way more calories. So I've seen worse, this isn't that bad. So I got that. I got some boar's head blazing Cajun, blazing Cajun. I think I made that up y'all. Blazing Buffalo Chicken Breast is my favorite lunch meat to have. I love how they have it usually in the deli already packaged. You ain't got to wait in line and talk to them. So I got some of that because apparently we're going to have sandwiches with this uh, Cheesecake Factory bread. So I also got some peeled garlic because I'm a garlic fanatic. And minced garlic just ain't cutting it no more now that I found fresh garlic and it's already peeled for me because if you know, you know, I'm super lazy. So I've been loving fresh garlic. All I gotta do is just chop it. It's already peeled. Boom. I got a Think protein bar that's peanut butter flavor, y'all. Also bought like a Cliff Builder bar, but I ate that already. And I'm still really, really trying to find a protein bar that I just vibe with. And this is the hardest thing ever. The only protein shakes that I'm able to drink and not complain is Premier Protein and Alani New. Other than that, that was a struggle. So now I'm trying to find a protein bar that I actually vibe with. The Cliff Builder bar that I, the Cliff Builder bar that I already ate that was chocolate and peanut butter was not too bad. I'm thinking as long as I stay with peanut butter flavors, you can't really go wrong because it's peanut butter. So this is a Think creamy peanut butter chocolate dip kind of like the same thing um so we're just gonna try it out i'm not big fan of protein bars because first of all they too damn high in calories the cliff filter bar i had earlier was 290 and this is 230 that's 300 goddamn calories just for 20 grams of protein we could do better so i'm not a big fan but y'all for real for real like i work out too hard and i know i always say this and i i'm just gonna have to let I'm gonna have to just let it speak for itself because I gotta I gotta stop coming to you guys saying the same thing. But I work out way too hard 
to not have what I'm looking for. So I know that my diet is the issue. First of all, y'all, <laughs> this whole month and like maybe a month and two weeks I've been eating out. My diet been trash as hell. I haven't gained any weight because usually I would just eat once a day. But with that being said, the food is crappy because I'll have McDonald's and that's all I had all day. So yeah, calories are in check, but protein is not and the food process is hell. So I just, I gotta do better, for real, for real. So I went to the store and spent buku money, so I'm too broke to eat out right now. That's that's what I was trying to do. Okay, so that's Kroger. We only got a little bit left from Kroger. Again, not a lot. Everything else is seasoning and condiments. I went to find my Zatarain's garlic and herb seasoning and they didn't have it. So I just ended up getting random stuff because y'all, our seasonings is lacking and the food ain't been good and that's why I've been eating out. So I got this Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. Y'all never ever had this in my life, but I read the ingredients um, to see what it was about. So it's like salt, black pepper, corn, starch, garlic, oregano, flavor based onion powder. You know, uh, can't be too bad. So I got that. I got Magic Seasoning Blend Seafood Magic because the last time I tried to cook shrimp, I was underwhelmed because I didn't have nothing really to season with and it wasn't good. And also I have some salmon I'm going to be making this week. So I got that. I got some Weber's Roasted Garlic and Herb Seasoning because this was the closest thing to like the Zatarain's, which was garlic and herb. So I was like, okay, cool. Got that. I got Greens Seasoning. Y'all, again, playing around. I don't know what the hell this is. Again, if you look at the ingredients, it is dehydrated vegetables, which is onion and garlic, salt, spices, brown sugar. Yeah, so it should be good, right? Just the, just the first couple ingredients is what it's mostly made out of. It sounded good to me, so whatever. Now we're going to move on to condiments. And I got this garlic dip spray that I've been wanting to try, you guys, but I just haven't. And I don't know why, because I love garlic. So basically, it's a garlic dip or a spread. So it says suggested use, you know, dip or spread on chicken, turkey for a sandwich. You can use it for garlic bread, garlic mashed potatoes, put it on veggies. It's damn near just garlic in a sauce. So I figure, yeah, I can't go wrong with that. You guys, I got some Olive Garden Parmesan Ranch dressing, which I heard was the bee's knees. So I wanted to go ahead and give that a try. And for Boar's Head, I got this deli dressing, which is basically just like oil with oregano and some spices in it. And I got this to just put on my sandwich because it's clear that I like oily foods. It's clear. So <laughs> let's add some oil on our sandwiches. I don't want it to be dry. So that's everything that I got from Kroger. Not a lot. Now we're going to jump into the Trader Joe's stuff, which I told y'all this freaking grocery haul is so sporadic it doesn't make any sense because i had a lot of i had a lot of meat but no veggies so also trader joe's i love their processed foods i know we're talking about not eating processed foods but i mean like mcdonald's processed foods <laughs> or like eating out because i'm lazy so anything that i could just warm up and eat i'm in that thing okay so Trader Joe's never does me wrong. 95% of the time, Trader Joe's is always a hit with whatever they have. So they had this chicken sausage breakfast burrito that I wanted to try. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good because, like I said, it's freaking Trader Joe's. So it's scrambled eggs, cheddar cheese, and potatoes in a tortilla. It's 550 calories and 25 grams of protein. I would have preferred it to be 30 grams, you know, just petty with that extra little five. But it's cool. I got that. I got turkey bacon because... I'm trying to eat as much bacon as possible and regular bacon. You can only have like two strips without it just being hella calories. Um, and so I just got turkey bacon because actually turkey bacon doesn't bother me. Of course, I prefer regular bacon. It's not that I'm never ever going to eat regular bacon, but turkey bacon is okay too. So I just got that. I got some soft spreadable cream cheese. Again, very random, but I'm actually going to make like a tuna dip with cream cheese instead of like mayo and stuff. I've been wanting to do that. Um, so I may feature that in the what I eat in the day. I'm getting back, y'all. I'm getting back. So make sure you subscribe with your notifications on whatever you got to do because we got to get it together. So I got another dressing, which is the Greek style feta dressing because I'm really into feta now. So I thought that that would be cool to try. I got me some more, uh, y'all know I'm on my little charcuterie car 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 board trend. So this is just like Genoa salami and provolone cheese. Eat that with some crackers. Cute little snack. I got this sparkling berry lemonade because it matched my outfit. 
that's not why I got it. But I was like, shoot, I'm tired of drinking water with my little flavor packets. Um, so let me just try something else. So this is a little treat for me. I didn't get no wine this time. So this is gonna just replace my wine, baby. If you know, you know. Y'all already know that I wasn't going nowhere without my bae. My bae. I got my Brussels sprouts that are smothered in freaking garlic. Thank you, Trader Joe's, baby. Just pop them in the air fryer. You're good to go. I got these freaking chicken wraps for Bear. I got two of them. They're both for Bear because he asked for them. But y'all, these are bomb. I had them the last time I went to uh, Trader Joe's. I got some. And they are so good. So it's chicken wrap with pesto vinaigrette. Y'all. Super good. I didn't get one this time because I'm going to be eating sandwiches for like my lunch or my little snack. But they are bomb. What I did get though is this barbecue chicken salad. Which I had got last time. I went to Trader Joe's as well. And when I tell you this salad is so freaking good. I had to get it again. It has chicken chunks in it. Corn. Cheese. Tortilla trips. Tort tortilla strips, onions, y'all, it comes with a barbecue sauce and some other, like, maybe like a ranch dressing, I don't know, bomb, 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 pick this up from Trader Joe's if you have a chance, baby, super duper good, super duper lit, I got a bag of salad, because I have some chicken strips in my freezer that I need to eat, which is another reason why I bought all of these salad dressings, because we got to make it interesting, I feel like I just got tired of eating the same things, and things was getting bland, which is why I really stocked up on seasoning today, and like, condiments, so I didn't show you guys this, I almost forgot, this is a soyaki marinade, so it is teriyaki sauce, and marinade for me, it's basically like soy sauce and teriyaki sauce together, I'm gonna make some like chicken with this to eat with rice, and I picked up these PB and J bars, just something for me to eat really quickly before the gym to give me some energy. Because I did start eating before I went to the gym. I do know a difference between when I go to the gym fasted and when I eat first. And I really, really appreciate how I feel when I just have a little bit on my stomach. You guys was bitching at me when I was eating candy and muffins. And I don't care because it was like really lit. My workout was fueled. Um, the only reason I didn't get muffins is because I was at Trader Joe's. And when I went to Kroger, I didn't think about it. Because I would have got me some banana muffins because they're bae. But I have plenty of candy. <laughs> but yeah, so I was like, well, let me try these PB&J bars. Do they have protein in it? Uh, not really. It's two grams. So we'll see how we feel about that. I got these Trader Joe's. Freaking elderflower sodas. I hope they're good. So these are 70 calories. Again, just something for me like to have a little treat since I always have water. These is little treats. Y'all, I had St. Germain's for the first time. And I don't know if you know, but if you know, you know. And it is made out of elderflower. And it was so good. It's, an, it's a liquor. But it is so sweet and good. So I'm hoping that this uh, lemon elderflower soda is the same and it's really, really good. So that's all that I have as far as groceries. Now, are y'all ready to get into this GNC haul or no? Okay, guys. I know y'all excited to see what we got from GNC. So come on, it's, it's a whole bunch of the same shit. Anyway, we got a bonus round, so let's just soak it up because we don't ever get to do this. We usually just look at the groceries and now we got other stuff. So look, hey, these Quest protein chips, y'all, let's talk about them. I had them when they first came out. I think it was the nacho cheese flavor. For some reason, I thought they were disgusting and I want to retry them because everybody raves about them. I'm excited more so for the fact that they are 19 grams of protein, like... Almost the same amount is the freaking protein bar, right? But half of the freaking calories. Like, this is 140 calories. So, I'd much rather eat these than eat a protein bar. If I can get with them. Because last time, I just thought they were super, super gross. So, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I got the spicy sweet chili flavor, which sounds great. Good, right? Okay. And then I got the ranch flavor. So, we'll see. On my freaking quest to find a protein bar that does not suck. I got the Alani New Blueberry Protein Bar. Now, I'm loving that this protein bar, see, it's only 16 grams of protein, so it's not 20, but it's only 170 calories, so it ain't damn near 300. That, and this one is the chocolate cake one. Is it chocolate cake? Yes, chocolate cake. I've heard great things about this. So, one of my snowflakes actually sent me um, the fruity cereal one. And I couldn't, it wasn't nasty, but it was just 
too proteiny flavor so i don't know why i'm trying again but i really heard great things about the chocolate cake so we'll see and maybe the blueberry muffin will be good to me i don't know i'm really just trying to find one that i like and i won't have to if these chips are lit i know they're high but protein is bae, okay? So, I also got two of the Be Lit Raw Energy Drinks. Because you guys know I take pre-workout before the gym. Um, I did dibble and dabble in the uh, Lit Protein. Not Protein. Uh, pre-workout. It was my first pre-workout I ever tried, actually. And the tingling was just insane, y'all. Like, this has beta alanine in it, which gives you that tingle. So, I don't know. But I was running low on my Alani new pre-workout. And I was like, well, let me just try some stuff. So, I got the snow cone flavor and the gummy worm flavor. Um, and speaking of that... I got a whole bunch of the Alani New Energy drinks because they had new flavors that I haven't tried. Was one and two. Um, y'all, I'm not a big fan of the pre-workout, the powder, and putting it in the water. I love BCAA, but also when I buy pre-workout, I have to buy BCAA, so it's like sixty dollars for both, and it's pretty expensive. Versus if I do an energy drink, I kind of sip on my energy drink during the workout, so it eliminates the need for BCAA. So we'll see. I originally started out with going to the gym with these. And not these, but if you know, you know. I was in a bang. I did my bang. All I did was drink bang. And I loved all the flavors and it was really cool. I tried rain. All of that. So we'll see. But I heard this watermelon wave was amazing. So it's a lot of new, so I'm sure it is. So I got two of those. And then I got three blue slush. So this is a new flavor, I think, that came with like the Whitney Simmons um, box or whatever that I really want to order, but it sold out before I could. So I got three blue slushes and two watermelon waves. Y'all, why was this $70? I don't know. And last but baby not least, because this was the most expensive purchase, I did get some more Alani New BCAA. And this is the uh, sour, is it sour? Yeah, sour gummy flavor. I usually stick to my sour peach rings, but they were out. So I just got the sour gummy. And y'all, it's really, really high buying freaking pre-workout and BCAA. All your gym stuff is high, like I said. How is it $70? Some freaking energy drinks and some chips and some protein bars and BCAA. Baby. But if you guys are still here, leave me a watermelon emoji first because of our Lonnie New Watermelon Wave. Ooh. And because look at me. Look at me. I look like a watermelon, do I not? I look like a damn watermelon. So leave a watermelon emoji. If you are still here, you made it to the end. Check out other videos from me here on the screen. And last but not least, turn your damn notifications on because I'm going to be popping out videos for real, for real the next, the rest of this month. I promise you, you don't want to miss it. I'll see you guys in my next video.